Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center speaking today about the concept of spoon theory and pathologic fatigue in multiple sclerosis. Fatigue in MS is one of the most common symptoms. It's one of the most debilitating symptoms in my opinion, and it's also one of the least well understood symptoms. I've found in talking with people impacted by MS that understanding spoon theory helps them better understand pathologic fatigue. I think it can help people living with MS better manage their fatigue. And I think it can help people who know others with MS be more sensitized to what it means to be tired in the setting of MS. Functional reserve is a concept that applies to uh, energy in MS. It's predicated on the idea that when you're, um, when you're having a damage to the brain from lesions, and your brain has to rewire. Your brain successfully rewires and you're able to complete a task. But instead of using one part of your brain to achieve that task like you did in the past, now because there's a lesion there and your brain rewired, you're using multiple parts of your brain to do that one task. And, and using multiple parts of your brain to do a simple task uses up brain energy or functional reserve. And I explain functional reserve oftentimes uh, simply by saying when I was 18, I could skip a night of sleep sometimes and not really care. I just sleep the next night. And now at my age, just saying that out loud makes me feel really tired because my functional reserve has diminished as I've aged. In the setting of MS, where as, as the brain is suffering from new lesions forming, the functional reserve diminishes even faster. And this is how spoon theory helps explain functional reserve. Spoon theory, here we go. Units of energy that you expend to live your life are represented by a spoon. When you wake up in the morning, you have a certain number of spoons that you wake up with. And here I grab 10 spoons. Getting up, starting your day, getting the kids off to school, getting yourself to work on time, is going to cost a unit of energy. Spending the day at work expends a lot of energy. One, two. And we'll say we're going to use four units of energy for the day at work. Getting home, getting the kids home, um, getting everyone safely in the house after, after work and school. There's another spoon. And you see that you end your day after work with four spoons. In the setting of multiple sclerosis, with a shrinking functional reserve. You, you don't have as much energy. And so when you wake up in the morning, you don't wake up with 10 spoons. Maybe you only wake up with six spoons. And this is the amount of energy or the number of spoons you start your day with. So let's revisit. You wake up, you gotta get yourself up, gotta get your children up, you gotta get them off to school, you gotta get to work, that's a spoon. At work, you expend a lot of energy, and we said that was one, two, three, four spoons. Then, you have to get yourself home, your children home, get everyone safe at home, that's another spoon. You're done for the day. And I find that spoon theory can be very helpful when trying to get others to understand functional reserve and pathologic fatigue in MS.